Industries XC Ford Falcon 351 Project Episode 73. In our last episode we left off by taking the car for a bit of a drive to see what was what. Didn't go so well and now it's time to get stuck into the carby and go over a few other things to see if I can figure out what's going on. As we can see from the position of my green zip tie on the uh, vacuum secondary solenoid, it hasn't moved at all. It's not getting half as much carby as I could. Oh well, that's a bit of a revelation. Now here's my vac secondaries solenoid, and that's the vacuum line port there. Seems like it's working. Let's have a look inside it. Oh, that looks all right to me. I'm no expert, but I would have thought if it was broken, there would be an obvious hole in that diaphragm. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is run some compressed air down through primary venturis, and hopefully that will trigger the vacuum on my carby and tell me if my vac secondaries are working. Okay, so I've had the vacuum vent solenoid apart, the diaphragm seems fine, I've checked all the linkages, and I've run compressed air down through the primary throttle, and it's actually making the vac secondary work. So I'm thinking maybe putting the zippy tie around my vac secondary arm was enough to disable it. I mean, I put a zippy tie on the vac secondary and then ran the air compressor through the manifold again and it wouldn't move. So I might have just accidentally disabled my vac secondaries on that trip. So I'll need to do that again. Third time's the charm. So that's where I'm at with that. Another thing I'm going to test while I'm here is is this car getting full throttle when I mat it? from inside the cabin, because I did notice that my big size 12 boots were interfering with a lot of the uh, furniture underneath the dash there and I wasn't actually getting full throttle at one point because my shoe was catching against something in the firewall area so I've rigged the steering lock up to see if I'm getting full throttle now let's go and have a look to see if I'm getting full throttle that's as mashed to the floor as I can get it how much more throttle is available? Not much. The diaphragm huffing away when I pull the secondary butterflies open. Take my float bowl levels. And hopefully they're all right. Yes, they're all right. That one's all good too. Okay, so I've had the carby apart. I've checked float bowl levels. I've checked the vac secondary solenoid. Now it's time for me to go over to my mate Alice's place because he has a timing light that's a digital timing light and uh, get this car timed properly by someone who knows what they're doing. While I'm there I'm going to help him with another project of his and then after that we'll suss the timing out 
and then I'll be back. episode 73 summary I took my car around to my mate Alice's place to get the timing light onto it he has a digital timing light and he's an auto electrician by trade he works at a speed shop so he knows his way around a, a tuning situation and he says timing is very retarded and he reckons it's one tooth too far retarded on the distributor he said he's wound as much timing into it as he can get. And he said it's still miles away from being optimal. So he said, I need a new harmonic balancer that has timing marks that make sense. He says, I need to get the rock covers off, find true top dead center, and then reinstall my distributor so I have room to move the dizzy backwards and forwards to advance or retard the timing. He's literally clocked that as far as it will go until the um, vacuum advance canister banged into the water outlet. So he said there's nothing left in it. So he says it's probably one tooth too far back. So that's going to keep you busy. And he said once I sort those three things out, I can bring it back. And he also said the engine's huffing when you give it gas. He says it's not getting enough fuel he said it shouldn't huff like that when you give it a bootful and he said it's not blowing any kind of black smoke when you give it the beans in neutral so he reckons it's running too lean so there you go too lean not enough timing and he reckons once I sort the timing out I can bring it back to his place and we can have a crack at rejetting the carby and getting it to run properly 